Welcome to a SimHanger Quick Bite, a small snippet of news I think you might be interested in. In a surprise move, Meta, the creators of the Quest series of VR headsets, have announced not only are they renaming the OS platform for their hardware and software that powers the Quest series of VR headsets to Meta Horizon OS, that's not particularly interesting in itself, but what is very interesting is they're opening it up to third-party developers. Whether or not this is open to all or just to selected partners is not clear at this time. But what's piqued my interest is the three partners they've announced to date. But perhaps more importantly, we should be asking ourselves what is the significance of this? Well, other than an obvious strategic advantage to Meta in having its OS more widely adopted, it allows third parties to create new products, new VR headsets, etc., using the Meta Horizon environment and libraries of applications and games and so on. I'll leave a link to the official Meta post in the notes below, and also to Road to VR, a website that keeps you up to date with VR news, highly recommended, again, links below, and my thanks to Tony on the Discord for bringing this to my attention. What's also of note is this is done in partnership with Qualcomm, manufacturers of the Snapdragon processors that power the Quest. The partners announced to date are ASUS or ASUS, Republic of Gamers. The ROG division of ASUS has certainly gained a reputation for high-performance products, covering things such as laptops, motherboards, GPUs, monitors and so on. And according to the announcement, they're going to be developing a performance gaming VR headset. Also announced was Lenovo, another fairly well-known name in the industry. They're not brand new to VR, of course. Anybody remember the Lenovo Explorer VR headset? And they were co-developers with Oculus on the Rift S. Lenovo will apparently be developing mixed reality devices for productivity, learning and entertainment. And the third partner announced to date is Xbox. Yes, I can see the eyebrows going up now. And when I initially read the post, my first thought was obviously, ah, is Xbox finally jumping into VR? Well, on closer inspection, that appears not to be the case. But interestingly, they're going to develop an Xbox-inspired VR headset using the Meta Horizon OS. And I can only assume building on the relationship they have with Meta and the Xbox Live platform and Xbox Cloud Gaming. Meta also said any products developed on their OS system will offer shared libraries, account access and so on. Well, 2024 is certainly seeming to shape up as a year for VR and MR. Something to keep our eye on. Thank you very much for joining me today. Stay well, look after yourselves. I'll see you all again very soon. And ciao for now.